And breaking news now in the battle against COVID-19, the United States is now on the verge of having a third available vaccine. Yeah, this information just into the newsroom. As expected, the FDA's advisory panel of independent experts has just voted to recommend the FDA grant an emergency use authorization for Johnson & Johnson's single dose vaccine. The, the vote was unanimous. Yeah, and the FDA will now make a final decision that's expected quickly as early as tomorrow. So here's a closer look at today's discussion that led to that decision. It's been studied in the largest COVID-19 vaccine trial to date in multiple countries, giving us more data to analyze and confidence in the results. Not surprisingly, much of today's discussion focused on the single dose aspect of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It can lead to the ability to reach both individual and herd immunity more quickly. Essentially, it simplifies the process. But j, j has begun studying the potential benefits of a second dose. The panel asks if that sends a mixed message to recipients. You can see where that would be confusing to people where they are thinking maybe I didn't get what I needed. While the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is less effective than Pfizer and Moderna's, the experts noted no one who received the j, &J vaccine was hospitalized or died from COVID-19. The efficacy at preventing relatively mild or even moderate disease may be different, but yet all of the vaccines seem to be uh, equally effective at preventing very severe disease, intensive care uh, needs, and deaths. Serious allergic reactions were not seen in the phase three trial. However, on Wednesday, Johnson & Johnson learned of two reactions, one resulting in anaphylaxis in a trial currently taking place in healthcare workers in South Africa. Johnson & Johnson says it is going to begin testing its vaccine in children uh, ages 12 to 17. That could begin as early as next week. Anyway, again, uh, we just got the uh, word on uh, the preliminary approval. We'll keep you posted on the FDA's decision expected as early as tomorrow. Their final word. Johnson & Johnson says it has 4 million doses of vaccine ready to go out immediately. So big news this afternoon, potentially.